Hi everyone, it's John the Dyslexic Geek here. Today, Lego have unveiled two more Star Wars sets that are going to be coming out, coming out on August the 1st. The first of which is Ahsoka Tano's Jeweled on Peridia. This set which is going to be costing $55 or £50 and will be containing 382 pieces. Now this set is of course based on the Ahsoka TV series that came out on Disney Plus last year. Not quite sure what it's taking so long for this set to come out, but here we go. Uh, I'm not sure what I think of this set um, as a set. It looks a bit bland, really it looks a bit minimalist for what, from, my, from what I can see. Uh, it doesn't really do much for me at all, but what, the, what, but what really sells this set really is the minifigures. The five minifigures all look pretty decent for the most part. They actually look really good, in fact. Uh, but from a set point of view, yeah, it's a little bit basic. doesn't really do much at all for me, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, look at these pieces on here. I'm not quite sure if these are stickers or printed pieces. Uh, if they're stickers, they look like they look. They could be an absolute nightmare trying to line them up perfectly. But it's not quite clear if they're stickers. Uh, maybe from this price point of view, I'm probably veering towards them being stickers. Uh, but yeah, it does look a bit uninspiring if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, but the minifigures do look look excellent. There's a little bit of functionality functionality to the set. It looks like you've got these wheels here that turn around the um, various plates. So there's a bit of playability to it, but. Doesn't really do much, not very inspiring if I've been perfectly honest. Uh, but take a look at the minifigures. Obviously you get five, obviously you get Ahsoka, um, Ezra, uh, Morgan, Elizabeth. I'm not sure who that is. I've never i I've never seen the series, I'm not familiar with that character. And of course Admiral Thrawn and a Stormtrooper or Night Trooper as they could have called it. But it looks good. Uh, Ahsoka looks quite fantastic. That's these are the star minifigure of this set. Uh, I'm not sure if there's, a, if there's a completely new print of Ahsoka. I'm not sure if it's completely exclusive. Um, I think that it might have been might be the same uh, Ahsoka that came in the the shuttlecraft last year. But the Admiral Thrawn looks pretty decent. Um, the Ezra looks fine, and as does the um, Night Trooper. But yeah, it looks fine from a uh, minifigure. They do look really good. They really are the selling point of this set. And the rest of it, as a play set, does look a little bit minimalist. So not terribly exciting as as a set goes. But if you're into your Ahsoka series. And you want these minifigures? That's not, you know, for me, I'd probably wait for a sale on this for, if I was to buy it at all. But I don't see me ever buying this really. I like the minifigures, but I'm not paying $55 or £50 for this as I'm not really that in interested in, in the Ahsoka series. But there we go. This is going to be coming out on August the 1st. And the second set that does really appeal to me is the Desert Skiff and Sardak Pit. I guess this one will be costing $80 or £70. And this will contain 558 pieces. A little bit expensive again maybe for what it is but it does look quite good i do like the look of this now obviously this is a set that will tie in with the ucs jabber sail barge that is going to be coming out in october i believe so it does look really good and um, the side that pet looks quite decent as does the, as does the skiff um it's been a few years since we last had a desert skiff so it's been yeah quite a long time since lego last done one of these does look fine and the side i said the side act does look a little bit more detailed than the previous one uh, the minifigures for me, again, like, like the Ahsoka one, are really are the selling point for this set. Particularly the 25th, 25th anniversary uh, minifigure of Nia Num. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've never been able to pronounce that that well. Uh, but it looks good. Um, look, look at the box. looks fine for the most, for the most part. Uh, it does it, the, the Scarif looks reasonable. It obviously, it will go really well with the sale barge when it comes out. I'm not sure if that will in, include one or not, but it will certainly pair well with it incredibly well. Uh, the side has got a little bit of movement to it. I mean, it looks fine for the most point. Most for the most point, not not perfect. Um, get a look at the 25th anniversary uh, minifigure. It's exclusive to this set. Won't be in any other set of uh, Neon Num. It looks good. Really does look good. In fact, uh, get a look at the other minifigures. So you get Boba Fett, Luke, Han, Chewie, and Lando. So all these figures look great. Um, really, yeah, really good looking minifigures. I'm not sure if any of these are exclusive to this set at all. Not quite sure. Um, I think there might be a new hairpiece on hand. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but they all look excellent. And uh, say Boba Fett again looks really, really good. A nice looking minifigure of Boba Fett. And uh, get a look around the back of the box. Um, it does look quite big in hands. It's got a lot of bit of uh, playability to the set. Uh, see it from this angle. The silac does look quite does, does look like quite substantial when you see it from this angle. But yeah, it looks good. Um, looks like look at the 3D spin around. So the silac pit does look quite chunky. So it's had a little bit of thought that's gone into it. I think the previous one, the silac was a little bit of an afterthought, but this one looks a little bit better. And the skiff looks um, pretty big, so that's quite decent. Yeah, that looks fine. I do like this. Um, I don't know if I want to buy, buy it on day one. I probably will hang on for a sale on this one. It does look a little bit expensive at $80, £70. 
for me yeah this one i can easily wait for a sale on this one but it does look pretty good um it's not available for pre-order so you have to wait for um, august the first for this to come out there's no pre-order on this but out of the two this one is the more appealing for me uh, so i'm a huge return of the jedi fan so that's one of my most favorite star wars films out of all of them so yeah, I probably will wait, but I'm not paying the full price. I think I'm not, I'm not going to pay for full retail. So let me know in the comments what you think of these two Star Wars sets. Are you looking to buy them on day one or maybe put on your Lego wish list? Can I please ask leave a like? And if you've enjoyed today's video, I'm very grateful if you consider subscribing. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks very much for watching today.